Well, hi there, and thanks for coming back to CNC Modeler. It's great to have you here. Uh, today we're looking at number three of my DIY tool changers carousel. So if you do like my channel, please do subscribe to it. If you like the videos, then please give them those thumbs up. And if you want to find out about the new videos, hit that notification bell. Just a quick reminder, we're trying to build one of these uh, tool changer carousels based on these drawings from Denford. And um, give you a quick summary of what we've got in the CAD. So we've got this uh, carousel assembly that sits on an arm, and that's uh, also the carousel is turned by this Geneva gear, and uh, that gives the accurate positioning of the uh, carousel to allow the tool changer or the milling machine to, as we see here, drop in a um, one tool holder. And then, uh, based on all the sequencing and the micro switches and everything, um, then pick up uh, the next tool. So the sequencing works by the Miller machine actually has sensors to know when stuff's in and out, and it also um, it basically just does feed forward. So it tells uh, the carousel to turn. There's a micro switch on the carousel and it pulses every time the Geneva gear, um, in fact the spur gear for the Geneva gear uh, rotates and then um, so it counts a certain amount of those and then it shuts the motor off when it's uh, moved in up positions. Um, and as you can see this seems to run quite well but one of the issues I'm having is because it's all 3D printed it's all quite flexible and unfortunately with flexible with something like this you really don't want it to be any margins of error. As you can see when it's dropping the, the tool changes down it can uh, just snag a little bit and if we see just here on this time there you go it's about to break everything because that milling machine ain't going to slow down because it doesn't know it's jammed. So all it is is that that tool holder isn't quite aligned correctly to allow it to fall into the bore in the middle of the um, in the middle of the uh, uh, tool changer and that's because these Geneva gears there's just too much play in them so I might machine these pockets I might machine the whole gear I'm not quite sure um, but yeah so if you do like what you see here please do um, support the channel and subscribe I feel like this is going well but the next step is to start machining it out of uh, aluminium after all this is just a prototype so if you do like my channel, please do subscribe to the channel, perhaps look at, have a look at my uh, website, I'm hoping to update that soon, and if you like the videos, just have a look at some of my other stuff, you can find the links here. Thanks very much for watching, cheers!